The word eclipse is a Greek word, which means abandonment. When the sun is abandoned, the moon comes between the earth and the sun. And during the total eclipse, it is completely dark. And that's why it is called eclipse. Solar eclipse, I think, is a reminder that you know, we're living as part of the universe. It's, uh, you know, we know the moon is there, we know the sun is there, but we don't always think about the relationship that we all have. I think solar eclipses are really cool. It's an amazing thing to be able to witness, but it's super important to be really careful and really cautious about viewing a solar eclipse because it can cause irreversible blindness. The retina is a really, really finicky tissue. If you're looking at the normal sun, the eye has all of the defense mechanisms, and so the heat of the retina is not able to rise really too much, not anything that meets levels for damage. But what happens in a solar eclipse is that because the moon is blocking the sun, there's not that brightness, so you have less of an aversion, right? We have less shadowing coming, and there's also more, it's more dimly lit, right? So now our pupils are dilated. But the sun is still equally as bright, there's still equally as much heat coming, and now we have a perfect setup for light toxicity and heat toxicity, which can lead to permanent damage. So all of those damages can be avoided if we use glasses for viewing such as these, okay. These are especially designed glasses. There are glasses that have certain safety standards. I can tell you it's ISO 12312-2. Those are gonna be available through preventblindness.org. Using just typical sunglasses, they do not prevent the UV light and the heat that, that comes from the solar eclipse that can cause damage. This is the type of scenario where we need to have the glasses on full time. You don't even want seconds of looking up at the sun. You want to be able to put those glasses on and then go ahead and start your viewing at that point. We have only a pair of eyes. It's very important. We do not have a spare. So people who are viewing these things and enjoying yourself, even for a very short period of time, Make sure you are safe. I was a NASA astronaut for 18 years. I had two trips to the Hubble Space Telescope and got to spacewalk four times. And I yeah, got to see the sun from a spacewalk. And you're looking at the sun, it looks like a big star in a black sky, which is kind of cool. And you look back down at the planet and it really doesn't rise and set. You know, the sun doesn't go in anywhere. It's, we're turning toward it or turning away from it. That's what's happening. But to me, it was an experience that we are living on a planet and we're out there as part of this cosmic dance that's been going on for billions of years between the earth and the moon and the sun and the stars and everything around us. We're part of that. And we don't think about that all the time. It's a reminder to look up and to understand and remember that we are on a planet and we are orbiting our sun, and I think that's what an eclipse does. It's a reminder of, of how amazing all this is that we're living on this planet. So I think it's a great thing to go see and make sure you get your glasses. <laughs>